Hello, welcome to Expert Village. My name is Wayne Peterson, and I'm the director of the Important Bird Areas program for the Massachusetts Audubon Society. Today, we're here at the Daniel Webster Wildlife Sanctuary in Marshfield, Massachusetts, where we'll be talking about bird identification and some of the equipment and essential tools that are useful to get one started in this incredibly interesting pastime. One of my favorite groups of birds are the shorebirds, and specifically this refers to the sandpipers and plovers that we often associate with summer beaches and mud flats and salt marshes. There are lots of different species. Many of them are very subtle in their plumage and pattern, but they all are characterized by having relatively long, slim legs and relatively long, slender bills in most species. Uh, these are, are birds that are basically inclined to run over uh, the mud or the sand or possibly wade in shallow water and then use their beaks to probe into the substrate for uh, food, which can be comprised of various sorts of invertebrate worms, little crustaceans, the small, what we call spat of mollusks, like mussels and clams and this sort of thing, or the larvae of waterborne insects. Uh, wing pattern and tail pattern are very important in identifying shorebirds. In some species, like the plovers, they have very conspicuous patterning on the underparts and on the head. The black-bellied plover, for example, in its breeding plumage is completely black underneath and sort of a marbled gray and white on top. The little piping plover, a federally threatened species here on the Atlantic seaboard of the United States, is pale sandy color with a partial black collar around its chest, orange legs, and a little orange-based dark-tipped bill. And this is a bird that blends in beautifully with the dry sand where typically these birds nest while they're here with us in Massachusetts.